Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make some fire thumbnails. So I've done some videos in the past, how to make some gaming thumbnails, how to make some thumbnails in general, and I've definitely gotten a lot better since the last time I made one of those. And on this one, I'm gonna to try to make a tutorial that like anyone could use to make thumbnails whether you do like vlogs, gaming, whatever. And there's really only a few things you need to know. You need to know how to select and cut out, copy and paste the subject, add some borders and whatnot, add the background obviously and some extra finishing touches. And I'm going to be showing you how to basically do all of that and how you can apply it to any type of thumbnail. Uh, but without further ado, let's get right into it. I guess saying without further ado is just furthering the doing. Okay, so right here we have Photoshop open. For thumbnails, you're either going to want to do 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. I recommend 1920 by 1080 because that's just 1080p, it's better resolution, and it's pretty much standard. Even if you don't use yourself in your thumbnails, you're still probably going to need to select some things and differ it from the background, and that's what I'm going to be showing you right now. So here's an image I took right here specifically to be made into a thumbnail. The newer versions of Photoshop have this thing where you can just go select and then click subject and it will get you pretty well but if you're just selecting from scratch or just finishing up whatever the select tool does for you this is how you're going to do it go over to the bar here click on the quick selection tool or just press w and if i press alt and select you can see it gets rid of it and if i just go over it and press left click you can see it kind of selects it so you can go in touch it up. Say if I wanted my chair selected, I could just do that. And then once you have a rough selection of yourself, not many people will need to do this. Uh, I definitely need to do it. This is to fix the selections around the hair and everything. You just right click, do select and mask, and then you just want to use this tool right here, second down, the refine edge brush tool. And you just kind of go along the edges and it pretty much just cleans it up. So after you have your selection perfect and everything, just right click and then click layer via copy and then right here you can see if i just hide this background i have just me right here it's not perfect but when i blend it into the background it will look a little better so from here i can either choose say i just want to grab my background go to filter blur gaussian blur and just blur the background and maybe that's what i want to do and that itself could work as a thumbnail it all depends on what type of thumbnail you're going for you can mess around with the blurs you can do a motion blur so it kind of has more of like a I mean, emotion look you can see like that makes the blur a little different or you can select your subject and the background and click Control t and just kind of move it around a bit get it centered the way you want it to look see if you're doing like just face cam videos or vlogs this is probably how you'll do your thumbnails. Over in your subject, you can click, and then you can do a drop shadow or an outer glow. Say I want to do a white drop shadow, I can just turn that up. This is all kind of your preference. For the softest look, I like to turn these down and then turn the size all the way up. And you can see that it just has a, a nice soft outer glow look. On top of this, I have graphics packs that I often take things from, like lighting effects, little background effects, just kind of whatever to make it look better. I highly recommend you go and look for some thumbnail graphics packs i might put together one myself eventually that might be sometime in the future but for now i recommend the 30k graphics pack by tempers i will link it in the description below it's the one i use for all my thumbnails it's really good under cc's right here which is color corrections grab this lighting effect put it on my thumbnails and i can just turn it about down a bit and it always just makes the lighting look better. But if you don't want to download it and you kind of want to try to make it for yourself, see how you can make it without someone else's help, you can just you can just click down here and go into curves and you'll have your own thing to mess with it right here. You can mess around with the highs and the lows and you can get that same look by doing it yourself. Say I want it to be vibrant and pop a little bit more, like also gave give it a little bit of a faded look. You can really just mess around with this. You can do absolutely whatever. You can see that's before, after. It all depends on what type of thumbnail you're going for and the lighting that it already has. Next, I'm going to be focusing more on gaming thumbnails, aka just replacing the background with something else. Say it's a Minecraft gaming video, let's just grab a Minecraft image. Perfect. I can just get rid of that background right there, place that one in. When you're doing this, 
you're going to want to click Control T on your subject so you can move it around however you want. See, for me in this is instance, I could put myself over here, but I usually like being on the left hand of thumbnails. So if I'm looking like this, what I'll usually do is just click right click, flip horizontal, and then boom, I'm looking this way. To add text, you just click on the little T right there and you can just, this is a little large, but I'll just type yo. And same thing, you can add a drop shadow, you can add a stroke, which is just an outline. You're gonna wanna make sure it's, the position is outside, it will be inside uh, when it starts. That is a thumbnail you could realistically use, like done in like 30 seconds. And once again, you can do the color things, you can add a bunch of different things, you can paste other things in the background. I recommend you just go into it, and with what I've learned, you can teach yourself more, you can mess around with it, you can learn how to make thumbnails you like. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you want a more direct option, you can go to my Twitch, maybe I'm live, maybe I'm live on my channel, who knows. You can also send me a tweet, I'll probably respond to that pretty soon. Basically, there's just a bunch of ways you can ask me a question. From this video, I hope that any type of content creator could figure out how to make a thumbnail based on this. All thumbnails are either replacing your background with something else or using the same background and i taught you how to use both but i tr oh what's up chase what's up buddy want to say hi chase no chase oh he left but anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and besides that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.